So first thing first, you go to pipi.org and search for digital screening. Hopefully this is the only thing you'll find. Otherwise, you know, you can type image annotator. And this is version 0.58, like I just showed you as 0.5.8 and it may change obviously. Now on GitHub, you will find this again under my GitHub account. Look for the link down below. I don't know where you're watching this video, but I try to do a decent job in kind of summarizing what this does. So go ahead and check it out. Uh, read the readme file and hopefully the program is intuitive enough for you so you don't have to worry about how to how to achieve certain tasks and all that stuff. Okay, now let's move on to the first thing that you need. Again, I assume you know nothing about Python or anything. So you just go to the Anaconda, Google search for Anaconda Python and downloads. I click on the skip registration. You don't have to. And here you see you have Linux, Mac and Windows. I'd, I'm on Windows system, so I just download this. And once you download, go ahead and install it. It should install Anaconda on your system that gives you uh, let's go down. So here you see Anaconda Navigator and now I, uh, not Jupyter, uh, there is Anaconda Prompt, yeah. So I'm going to select the Anaconda Prompt and it opens the command prompt. Again, I know if you're a biologist, you're probably scared of this, but just type conda create minus n, let's call our environment image annotator. I'm creating a new environment, meaning everything, uh, let me finish this, Python 3.10 because I tested everything on 3.10 and it works on 3.1 or later. Okay, so it's creating this environment where you'll have all, let me type yes for this, where you'll have all uh, the libraries and everything. So from now on, you just need to activate this environment once it's ready and fire up the program. So the first part can be a bit awkward if you're not a coder. Okay, let's, we created the environment, let's activate it. Conda activate image dash annotator. So it should change it. You see on the left-hand side how it says base. Now it says image annotator. Now let me clear the screen. So now that's it, we are in the environment. So now we need to install this library. So 0.5.8 is the current version. So let's just go and pip install. And this should, actually let me start it. It, it takes a while because there is a lot of libraries that get installed. The first part is it's just collecting all of this information and then it installs it. I'll pause the video, don't worry, and continue after this is done. This may take three, four, five minutes, depending on your uh, internet connection. Okay, I paused the video. Now it's all done. You see it installed a whole bunch of stuff, including ultralytics that we're going to use for auto detection of some objects and SciPy, and there should be, uh, there should be uh, PyTorch. I don't see it here, but I bet it installed it. So you don't have to install it. So let's go ahead and uh, you can fire up the program by typing digital Srini image annotator. That's too long. Let's just call it Srini. I created a shortcut. So just type Srini, it should open this program. That's it.